So I just pulled over on the side of the road and they're having this um, trade circle and I bought a couple more Tibetan bowls and uh, I had to take my stick over and play them all and those two spoke to me. So I'll play them for you later. But here I want to show you the. So this is the trade circle. That lady right over there with the car is where I bought um, the Tibetan bowls. She has a whole bunch of them. She's bought them and has been cleaning them up, restoring them. But she says she sat and played each of them before she bought them, too. So, anyways, here we go. So I left the slabs, and I came back to the Fountain of Youth Spa Resort. RV Resort Spa? I don't know. It was so nice here. I, don't, I didn't want to leave. So, this is my life. I can do what I want. So, I came back, and I got two nights, and... I have a site that's really close to everything, like a block away instead of way up the hill and like a mile walk. So this is a nice van set up. I paid for two nights. I'm going to go get in some water now. So I um, soaked in the tub. It felt awesome. And I'm looking like such a cue ball right now. Where's my hat? Anyways, um... When I was checking in, I noticed there was another um, Volkswagen Westphalia here in the park. And um, after I got done checking in, I went over there and talked to the lady that had it. Her name was Bridget, and she is a, um, a passion diviner. She had a business card, too. So she can figure out what your passion is or help you discover what your passion is. And that was kind of interesting to me, and she told me, um, notice what you're noticing, because that means a lot. So pay attention to what you're paying attention to. And I'm like, okay, um, that'll be interesting. <laughs> I've, anyways, I'm going to try that. Um, I believe every time you meet somebody, you're supposed to learn something from them. They're a teacher. They're there to impart some wisdom to you. So, um really think she was and she told me to I need to go meet this guy who lives in site 760 his name is Rudy and he's from Peru something about he knows some shaman type healing stuff that sounds really interesting to me so um, I think I'm gonna go for a walk and see if I can find this Rudy that I am supposed to meet so she said it would be really good, be beneficial for both of us to meet each other. Don't really know what that means, but I'm going to go look for Rudy. This is my street I'm on, Palo Verde. And it, I'm just down there on the left at the end across from that golf cart. And right here is the um, library and laundromat and office. And then first building is showers on this end and the bathtubs on the other end and that's in the fenced in areas where all the pools and hot tubs are. So, um, not a bad location. So we went for a little walk down the um, walking path and pet trail. And this says labyrinth trail this way. Let's go walk a labyrinth. Can you hear the birds? These houses have a beautiful view, mountains behind them, and all this. You can see the Salton Sea in the distance. So it's almost 7 o'clock at night, and I'm still awake. Oh my gosh. I've been going to bed so early because it just gets dark out, and it's cold outside. But I think I'm going to, the pools are open till 10 o'clock tonight, so I'm thinking go up and soak in the hot tub and it's going to be cold getting out and getting back to the van but then I'll be ready to snuggle down and I think maybe watch a movie on my daughter's Netflix account um, sounds like a good evening and I had fish and chips for dinner I wanted to have they were having ribs tonight it sounded awesome 
and they were serving them from four until seven. So I get up there at quarter to six and they're out. I guess the ribs are really popular. So I had fish and chips. They were good. It was good. Um, coleslaw was really good. It was sweet. So um, that's, I'm going to go get in the pool. Morning, everybody. It's, um, I think it's Sunday. I think it's Sunday. Um, good morning. I, um, it's like 6.30 and the, um, pools and everything open at 6. But my suit is still damp and cold and I don't want to put it on, even though the hot water is going to feel so good, but putting a cold wet swimsuit on, ugh, six o'clock in the morning, and then walking outside in it. Um, so right now I've got it hanging over top of my little buddy heater, trying to dry it out. Uh, yeah, I left it in a heap on the floor last night. <sighs> Past Becky screwing me over. <laughs> uh, so... I want to get up and go get in the hot tub and um, get the whole day ahead of me. There's, um, I was going through the paperwork last night and they have a whole list of uh, um, activities and uh, sports, well, not sports things, but yeah, like um, water exercise in the pool and they have Kiong. It's kind of like Tai Chi type stuff. Um, like, anyways, a lot of stuff to do here. Like, this is the activity schedule. It's huge. I have to get my glasses on to read it. <laughs> but there's... So I'm here by myself, which means... I mean, I like traveling with other people, but when you're by yourself, you can do whatever you want to do, and... You don't have to take into account what the the group wants to do. Um, just be a little selfish. It's all about me. <laughs> so I'm going to do what I want to do today. Jimmy might show up later on today and spend the night, sleep on the same campsite with me. Um, maybe. Not for sure. But today I'm just going to do what I want to do. Oh, bright light. I just got back from um, sitting in the hot tub spa. It's only like a block away. I'm really close. Anyways, I was talking to a lady in there, and she was warming up before getting into the pool to do their swim aerobics in the morning. And um, so she got up and went over there, and uh, I got out, and I was drying off. And then everybody in the pool started singing, Oh, what a beautiful morning! And it was just... They were genuinely happy, and uh, it was uh, nice to hear, and it, I like this place. It's got good energy. There are happy people here, and uh, not so many flies, and uh, I could see staying here a little while, um, but I have to be back in San Diego the 13th, so, but maybe I'll stay another night here. <laughs> So I've been working on this picture of my brother's roommate, Gene, and his dog, Sprig. That's what I'm going off of. I think the dog looks good. Um, sitting on the grass. There's Bernie. It's pretty relaxing. I am so close to see that building over there. That's the library. There's a restroom right there. There's a pool on the other side of it. I have a nice location. 
Hey everybody. So I had a I had a good day today. I uh, put my grass out on the gravel next to the van and set up my paints and painted for a while and sat in the sun and um, took a nice hot bath. Got in the hot tub. Um, took a nap. Yay. <laughs> um, just kind of took it easy. Um, it was nice and relaxing. And I think I'm going to settle down and um, maybe watch a movie. Maybe just go right to sleep. Um, it was a good decision to come here, even by myself. I'm, I'm really relaxed. So that's good. And uh, it doesn't sound like Jimmy and Oliver are coming. They're going to stay in Palm Springs another day. So I'll talk to you later.